guys, I'm back with another makeup tutorial for you. This is my second video makeup tutorial and I'm having a lot of fun with it even though trying to figure out lighting and all that is kind of crazy. I think I'm sort of getting it narrowed down so that you can actually see what I'm doing while I'm doing the tutorials which is really important. And I wanted to share this makeup look with you because I achieved it using all drugstore products like Wet n Wild, Milani, Revlon, L'Oreal and a few others. These days it's really important to have a polished look and a lot of times people think that you can't achieve that unless you have a big budget but you really can do it you just have to take your time and find the right products and I'm going to share with you everything that I use on my face today in this video and show you step by step how I achieved this sort of glamorous look with the glitter and all that other stuff if you like this video please feel free to comment in the box below subscribe and like it and share it with your friends and until next time um, I hope to see you guys soon, and I hope you enjoy this video, and I will be making more videos in the near future. Bye! First, I'm using this Dark Spot Correcting Sheer Envy Primer from Hard Candy. After working the primer all the way into the skin, I want to give it a little bit of an added glow, so I'm putting on Glow All The Way by Hard Candy. The foundation that I'm using today is in the color Golden Caramel and it's by Revlon Colorstay. I'm going to go in and highlight certain areas of my face with this Match Perfection from Rimmel. It's in the color Fair Light because I like more of an extreme highlight, but if you want something a little bit more subtle, choose a darker color. I want to set my highlights, so I'm using this Highlight Illuminer from the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. To contour my face, I'm going to use the darker color from the same palette on the sides of my nose and also on the sides of my face just below the cheek area. Now I want to blend out that contour, so for that I'm going to use this Mineral Bronzing Powder by Gotta Be Urban. To add some color, I'm using this blush from Wet n Wild. I'm not sure of the color, but they come in about four different shades. You can use any dark brown matte color for your eyebrows if you have dark hair. So for this I'm using the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection. The color is in Desert Festival and it's the center color which is a deep brown and matte. I need to set my foundation so for this I'm using the color Sandstorm by Rimmel London Stay Matte. For an eyeshadow base, I'm using Color Tattoo Metal 24 Hour in the color Barely Branded. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is by Wet n Wild and it has Poster Child and Model Minion. The first color that I'm gonna use is the lightest pink color and that's gonna go all over the brow bone. There's a color right below it, it's a little bit of a darker pink and that will go all over the eyelid. In the crease, I'm adding this deeper pink as a nice little transition color. And finally, I'm going to give it some definition in the outer corner by using the darkest color, which is a dark gray that's at the bottom of the palette. To give my eyes a little bit of sparkle, I'm using this NYX Crystal Liquid Liner in this gold color. In the lower lash line, you're going to want to use that darker pink color all along the line of your lower lash and then you can go in with the darker color to sort of blend that out. To do my wing liner, I'm gonna use this cream eyeliner called Little Black Dress and it's part of the Fergie collection with Wet n Wild. 
For my waterline, I'm just using a black eye pencil from Rimmel London. For the lashes, I'm using number 30 from Amore Us, and I picked these up from downtown LA for about a buck. For mascara, I'm using Telescopic in the blackest black. I'm gonna line my lips with the color Fuchsia. And finally, for the lip color, I'm using the color Matte Orchid 64 from Milani.